everyone. Mary and Espresso Press Design. Welcome. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Tuesday, March 12th, 2024. Today we're going to do something easy because it's my birthday and I didn't feel like working. So I have a surprise for you and First, the usual, get my list out here. <clears throat> Thank you to all my customers and everyone who has left kind reviews and kind comments. Jolene, the second one is Japanese, so I can't read Japanese, but thank you. Love, love you, Japan. Cindy, Marla, and Lynette. So thank you for your purchases. I appreciate it very, very much. I have three or four new papers for you, and then we'll get into what we're going to do today. Uh, the first is Primrose Path. Very lovely papers here. Let me bring these up because I know that my light is fading colors, especially the greens. Um, oh, what are these? Seed catalog labels. I don't know if you're going to read the seed company on there, but I only printed a couple. Well, yeah, I only brought down a couple. A black set. Um, vintage seascapes, collage type seascapes, uh, a variety, and oh, what is this? Mixed media collage, and that is your surprise today. I have a set, one set, I'm probably going to make two sets because I fell in love with it and I had enough to make two. So I'm probably going to make two, two sets. So what we're going to do today is make some tags. And I have mine already cut. And I use these papers which I have for you, and I have three of them, three designs for you, which I already cut off to make these tags. And if I have time, I'll make another one, or maybe I will make some ATC cards because it occurred to me. After I did these, that these would make great ATC cards. So maybe we'll have time to do that. But yes, it's my birthday, <clears throat> and I didn't feel like working. So what you'll need, I'll have this PDF for you to download under the description, in the description. And um, you can create along with me or make your own tags however you want. And how did this come about? Well, my daughter's birthday was Saturday. And I made her a tag. And I made this little gift card holder pop up. Well, actually, I made two. And then I just realized, you know, that's not her style. <laughs> I know what she's going to think when she sees that. She's going to think little old lady. So I made her a completely new one. And then it just occurred to me that I need some different styles of tags in my stash. So that when this happens, I don't have to um, 
be scrambling around for or make my own mixed media paper, which I have a bunch of it, but so I just decided what I wanted to play around with was some tags. So I made one, and there it is. And all my extras and whatever little scraps I could come up with, I added to it. So it's a little, little dimensional. So what you'll need are your tags. I have some scrap paper. I have some text for words. I have some magazines and other stuff so I can make some washi. Um, this new thing I did with the washi. I taped the word underneath that says enchanting. And that came off of this pattern. So I was looking for patterns, things like that. So, okay, let's get started. And I used some of my Millefiori. I thought it kind of looked kind of went well together. Don't be afraid to mix things. So that's what I did. And I'm just going to add a little bit to these two so they're so they're all similar in some way and I was kind of looking for one with more gold but I guess it doesn't really matter there's enough red in there that this will work and I'm just going to put a little strip along the bottom of this one because I forgot to put it on. I don't think I want them all the same. I forgot to put it on before I cut my tag. That's what I meant to say. So I'm just going to go along the bottom or I might go across the center on the third one. I don't know yet. So that's what we're doing today. It's going to be a beautiful day. Almost 70 degrees, which is quite, quite unusual for my birthday. Um, can't even tell you how many birthdays I've had. Two feet of snow got a snowstorm for my birthday but I don't know if I said I'm 62 62 years young hopefully I am um, gonna have to start writing that on my forehead because Ever since I've been 50-something, there have literally been times when I forgot how old I was because, not necessarily because I have Alzheimer's yet, but <laughs> just because I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff anymore. You don't have to, you know... It's not like my daughter where you're looking forward to being 18, which she is. Can't believe she's 18. So she's looking forward to, you know, a lot of things. After 50, I kind of quit counting. So that's why some years I literally forget how old I am. 
And then I just asked my husband, how old are you? And then I subtract two. <laughs> okay, so I got that on there. So you're just going to need the usual glue. I have tape. I have some stamps. I might do some stamping, but I really don't think so. So now I'm going to look for a word. Put on there. Hopefully I have enough good paper here. Um, charming friend um, maybe I'll go with friend and just look in this one real quick. So I hope everyone's doing well. Smiled. What do I have? Enchanting. Okay, I think I'm going to put glorious. And I see extraordinary and I see exquisite. I love this paper. You know, sometimes, <clears throat> well, you all know, sometimes I get tired of vintage And so does everyone, I think. I should have put it was glorious. I'll keep that maybe. Okay, where am I gonna put that? I think that space is calling for something, so I'm probably gonna go there. And I'm probably gonna use glue. So these really didn't, mostly the design did all the work. So that was helpful. So I didn't even get anything yet. I'm still deciding what I want. I have a wish list a mile long. So we went out to dinner already over the weekend. It's a co celebration. And then I go to this place. It has the best steak and the best hamburgers. <clears throat> they grind their own steak or cut their own steak and grind their own meat. So let me see here. I know I want a piece of washi going over that. I think that's kind of cool. So let me see if I have something blue. Be a little too bright. That'll work. I'll try 
try to get that sleeve. So I get there and this is part alcohol, which I always keep a little bit of alcohol in my water just so things dry faster. It's a little too much of a spray there. Let's see what I can get off of here. That was a little long. So anyway, like I said, I get there. I got and <laughs> I can never um, never decide if I want the burger or the steak. Oh, I'm gonna try to make sure I can see that word through there. And if I can't I'm going to use it. Yeah, I might not use it. At least not there. So let me see if I can get another one with a little white, a little clear left. Don't go so close. This tape is, I always think that there's the end, finally, okay. So I'm going to get a little, clear. go. Okay. That'll work. I'm going to put some glue on this too. So anyway, <laughs> I can never decide which one I want when I get there. And they, they also make the best potato salad. So when if they don't have the potato salad, then I have to go to plan B. So I always say, well, okay, if they don't have this, then I guess I'm not having that. So I always end up just going for the burger because the burgers are so fabulous. But this time I did try a different burger. So I skipped the steak because I didn't, I feel like if I'm going to have steak, I want the whole premier meal <laughs> and I want the all of their signatures <clears throat> and their potato salad is a signature. And they're always sold out of it by the time we get there. I think you have to get there and go much earlier to get the potato salad. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So there's that. There's the bottom. Now, um, I 
I honestly don't know if these need any more. I was toying around with um, cutting out flowers and putting them on. I have some buttons. I have some stamps. Some butterflies. Where do those little flowers go? There's one. I think those, if they go anywhere, they're going to go on here. Yeah. If they go on. We'll see. I'll see if I can add anything at the end, but I'm really put a little stamp. I'm really thinking they don't need much. Just let the design do the work. So yes, after this, this evening, I might shop. We'll see. Trying to decide what, what I want. I might end up buying a craft iron. Okay, so I have Glorious Enchanting. Extraordinary or exquisite? Probably exquisite. And there's the phone. If you can hear that, I don't know, but um. It's kind of, let me see where I want to put the tape on this one. Probably, <clears throat> I don't know if I want to go up and down, because probably, right there I'm thinking so that was pretty much that for his birthday. Let's see. What colors do I have left? I don't know if I'm going to get anything off of here. This, this paper is a little thick. That's a little busy. Um, what else do we have? Let's go for a little spot of that. Let's see how that works. And I went to buy new tape and new glue. 
accidentally um, left my glue stick open. And um, I'll probably have to wait till near Christmas before they come back out with the invisible tape at Dollar Tree. And they did not have a glue stick. So I just got that little pattern. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see what that's going to do. If it's even going to show up. Barely. Okay, let's see. Let me quick thumb through here. See if I can get something a little more exciting. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Is there any blue in there or not? Well, maybe. Let's try that. So I saw some interesting Etsy news this last week. Apparently, if you open a new shop, well, first of all, let me preface by saying that they had a um, they had a survey and they got so many responses they had to shut it down early. Uh, that's not much better, but I don't want to take the time. Let's see how it shows up, if at all. No, slightly. But at least I can still read my words, so. So anyway, they had a survey in had to shut it down early and then apparently if you open a new shop you're gonna have to pay because they want to get rid of people who aren't serious yeah like two years too late So, I don't know what's going to happen on Etsy, but it's not looking good. Why well, they did what they did in letting two, over two million, oh wait, how many is it? Almost five million new shops in two years is beyond me, but they did. And now that's, this seems like a retro, retrofit solution to a problem, a self-created problem. So I've been thinking, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on Etsy going to play it by ear, which I've been doing for the past year and a half since I recognized, since I discovered there was a problem and began to investigate as to why there was a problem. So I used every little scrap and I just created some extra tags 
And I'm going to string these up hopefully quickly. And uh, see if those tags need anything else. I was toying with putting a paper bead on somewhere, but I couldn't make it work. Um, to order some new bulb pens. I know that. Jeez, you're fraying already. I didn't even get you in the hole. Let me get a needle. I do have a safety pin project possibly coming up. That I've been wanting to do for a while. Okay, there's number two. But I don't know. It seems like Etsy's going to jump the shark if they don't come up with a solution. You can't make it through the churn. And you can tell just by your stats that people aren't seeing your items and because there's too many shops and there's nothing you can do about that unless you want to spend all your time marketing for Etsy and going outside and hoping to draw more customers in which I'm not about to do any more than I already do because that's why I'm on a platform in the first place. To take advantage of. It's like being in the mall. If there's no advantage to being in a mall, why be there? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so with with just that many shops and that many products as you if you can imagine seven million people probably have at least a hundred products And even if you advertise, you're probably not getting on page one. I don't know if they have a tier structure for advertising. They don't go by conversion rate. Oh, that's praying a little bit, but I'll fix it later. Okay. They don't go by conversion rate, so they don't put They might put best sellers on the front page, but they don't seem to go by whether a store is 
They don't seem to go by stats most people would go by, <laughs> let me put it that way. So I don't know. Okay, so there's tag number two. Very simple. There's tag number three. That says exclusive. I don't know if you can read that. And that's just scraps. I wanted to use every inch of that paper I cut off and I did use most of it. There's tag number one again, enchanting. Very simple, but I know my daughter would probably like something like that a lot better. So now I have some tags and paper and um, I love this paper and I probably will make some ATC cards with it because that would be a lot of fun. Okay everyone, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time. You have a great week. Bye.